Hello everyone! So for World Environment Day, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about some really interesting critters out there that exist on our planet. And they're considered extremophiles. That is literally their name. It's like pretty crazy when you think about it. And they're tiny, tiny microorganisms that exist in places on Earth previously thought where life could never even exist. For instance, places where it's extremely, extremely hot or extremely, extremely cold. Hence the name extremophiles. Now the first type of extremophiles I want to talk to you guys about are known as thermophiles. And they also go by the name of Thermus aquaticus, which is a heat resistant bacteria that's found in certain places here on Earth where the temperatures are really, really hot. Like I'm talking 70 degrees Celsius hot. So there's places like in Yellowstone National Park where the hot springs reach really high temperatures, the water is boiling, and extremophiles were actually found there, which is pretty crazy. They were first discovered in 1960, and they also can survive up to temperatures of around 80 degrees Celsius. And what's really interesting too, is there's hydrothermal vents that exist on Earth, and also Enceladus, by the way, and just centimeters away from these hydrothermal vents, there's full-on ecosystems of clams and tube worms that like literally exist under these intensely high temperatures, which is like super nuts to even think about. And scientists are led to believe right now that the reason they actually survive is because of the energy and the carbon dioxide that's released from the hydrothermal vents. So those are extremophiles that are pretty, pretty intense in hot temperatures. I do pretty well in hot temperatures, but not that well. Now, on the other side of the extremes, we have the extreme cold, and they're known as psychrophiles. Not to mix up with psycho, because totally different, even though they're pretty insane, because Normally, um, deep sea waters are around two degrees Celsius. It's a, at a constant two degrees Celsius uh, average. But in areas where there's a really high concentration of salt in the water, they can reach around negative 12 degrees Celsius. And that's because of the really, really high sodium content. The water ends up not freezing and crystallizing. So it's able to stay a liquid and it's able to reach really, really cold temperatures like that. And it's crazy because these things can exist there. Now, the way that it's they survive is some of them develop different substances such as glycerol or like antifreeze proteins that actually lowers the temperature water and it prevents them from actually crystallizing and freezing because that's one thing that uh, we all have to really worry about when it comes to really, really cold temperatures being mainly consisting of water is that the water will freeze and it'll expand and it'll end up well, killing the, the life form. And what's really cool is some little bacterium that's found on like turtles, for instance, are capable Before of doing bacteria, this. It really is the protein that's found in the body's liquids that allows for them to be frozen and then be thawed out later. Because as long as no ice crystals form, they're able to essentially flash freeze, which is a lot of times done with like liquid nitrogen, but they're able to rapidly freeze. But because the body had produced this um, like glycerol or antifreeze protein, it allows for the, the um, body to not produce any ice crystals and expand and kill it completely so it's able to freeze and then be later thought out and come back to life it's like really really creepy if you think about it because it died and then come back to life but anyway that is with um psychrophiles 